Many people take the right to vote for granted, but that right might not exist at all without the work of people like Fannie Lou Hamer. A fierce advocate for women's rights and African Americans, Hamer was irrepressible. Born in Mississippi in 1917, Fannie was the last of 20 children. She grew up working on a small plantation, and after getting married, learned that she was unable to have children as she'd been given a hysterectomy without her consent while undergoing a medical procedure. While this is exceedingly rare today, these injustices were sadly much more common not that long ago. For a long time, Fannie didn't stand out from the crowd, but that all changed in 1962 after attending a meeting about voting rights. Hamer decided to register herself. She went down and had herself added to the local voter rolls, but when she returned home, she was given a choice. The man running the plantation where she lived and worked told her to withdraw her voter registration or she could find a new home. Now, a lot of people might have backed down, but Hamer refused to give up her right to vote. Instead, she began recruiting others, helping to register more than 65,000 African Americans over the next few years. While traveling with a group of community organizers, Hamer and several others were arrested when they stopped at a small roadside cafe. While segregation was no longer legal, it was still in force in large swaths of the United States. Hamer was taken to jail. There, the guards encouraged some of the other inmates to physically assault her. She suffered permanent damage to one of her eyes and to her kidneys. For many people, that experience alone would have been enough. You could hardly blame someone for quitting after all of that. But Hamer continued to work. She organized political action groups and gave speeches. Though Hamer worked for racial justice and women's justice, a great deal of her focus was specifically on the farming community. After all, that was where she came from. She founded a group called the Freedom Farm Cooperative to advocate for poor sharecroppers as well as those who were being disenfranchised. The FFC worked hand in hand with other groups like the National Council of Negro Women and they provided nutrition, education, and influence to people who had long been denied all three. Hamer was a tireless advocate for the rights of the poor and the disenfranchised. By the time she died of breast cancer in 1977, she'd spoken at political conventions, founded national programs, and become an inspiration to thousands and thousands of people. It's an incredible climb, and Hamer left behind a powerful legacy for future advocates to live up to.